this understanding of human and animal behavior. Exactly. It is a learning piece of our idea that all behaviors are required for conditioning. It seeks to identify observable and measurable laws that could explain all human behavior. So today, we're going to talk about three very influential men in the world of behaviors, and they are.
um, prepare for an activity, okay? So please study your notes. Also, another announcement will be, we will be meeting at NH116 tomorrow instead of this room, okay? So you may use this. Do you have any questions? Ma'am, I just want to ask, what's the disadvantage of this theory? You have a point in that question. See here, what are theories? Ma'am, theories are assumptions that have not been proven yet. Exactly! One of the weaknesses of the behaviorist theory is that it is based on behavioral assumptions where animals were used in the experiment. Animals and humans have different behaviors. The second disadvantage is that person will be materialistic. She'll expect reinforcement every time she'll do something or she's asked to do something. Third one is that response will deteriorate over time if the same reinforcement were used. Are there any more questions? No, no more, ma'am. All right. So let's test your understanding by playing a game. Who wants to play a game? Okay, okay we're ready! So, are you guys ready to play some games? Because I have prepared some tests for you. First, we're going to apply the knowledge you guys have learned today to test each skills. We're going to play a game called Pace the Words. We are going to divide operant and classical into two, and you guys need to identify the words that is given to you and paste it on the board. First group that will be completed and describe each term will be given a plus point directly to your quizzes and grade. Any suggestions or any concerns? No more, ma'am. We may begin. Three, two, one, go! Which creates a condition. 
sufficient stimuli. All three of this is R, I mean R under classical conditioning. So it's not an open, it's for classical conditioning. We just finished our first test. Congratulations to those who win. Now let's proceed to the second game called Guess the Word Through Actions. Everyone will be divided into a group of two. In this round, each team member should be able to identify the words that will be put in the forehead by other members. That would illustrate and guess the word. Each team will be given 20 seconds to guess. Any violation on any member will be disqualified into this game. Each team member must help each of their representative for the group. Good luck, guys. Negative punishment. Activation response. Negative reinforcement. Condition response. Condition stimulus. Negative punishment. Uh, condition response. Ne negative reinforcement. Unconditioned response. Yes, yes. <laughs> Condition response. Unconditioned response. Positive reinforcement. Ah! <laughs> uh, negative punishment. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's about unconditioned. So, I hope you guys learned something from the discussion that we just had today, which is the behavioral theory. And from the activity that we just did, I hope you have learned something and enjoyed it. Well, class, you, you may go.